Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And after the last ranty, angry video, I needed something that was lifting me up and making me laugh. And we've got it, of course, because today is Thursday. And as I mentioned earlier in an earlier video this morning, it's the usual Penny versus Deirdre uh, tirade. And they haven't let us down again. Poor old Deirdre gets to her feet, has a go at Penny and gets handed it back. What a shame. So we'll take a look. We'll see why Penny is bang on, back on form. And we're probably looking at the next leader of the Conservative Party. And when she does become leader, it means probably these little uh, Thursday morning fun fests will come to an end. And I think that's sad. But until then, we'll continue to enjoy them. Penny uh, responded to, uh, to Deirdre. And Deirdre will just spend time mocking people. Let's have a look. So, Penny Morden rubbishes claims she hates Scotland as Deirdre Brock mocks voters. I look forward to Thursdays. There was a little break. They had a, a little break there for Easter and that. Uh, and I miss the fact that these two get up every uh, Thursday normally with the breaks accepted and have a go at each other. And it's always poor Deirdre who comes off worst. But then Deirdre's not very bright. I mean, I like her. I think as a on a personal basis, I think she's probably quite fine. I don't find her objectionable or obnoxious. I do think that she perhaps has chosen the wrong party. Uh, but for a woman who was in Home and Away, she's doing all right, really, until she meets her match. Her nemesis, of course, in the form of dear Penny Mordant, a woman destined for greater things. The leader of the House of Commons defended her own criticism of Nike changing the colours of the St George's Cross on the New England kit while hitting back at claims she dislikes Scottish people. And I want to do a tangent. I said Nike. I know some people call it Nike, but it comes from the Greek goddess of victory, and therefore I will call it Nike, for that is what it is. If you have objections, let me know in the comments, but I'm not going to change how I say it. Anyway, getting back to the story. Penny Morden has accused the SNP of mocking the views of her constituents as she hit back at the claim she hates Scotland. The leader of the House of Commons was put on the spot by nationalist MP Deirdre Brock this morning over her criticism of the New England football kit. Uh, and there's been enough said on that, and I dislike it too. Uh, and it doesn't matter which flag it is. To change the colours of a flag simply for political reasons uh, like that is, I think, abhorrent. I think it's wrong. Uh, they wouldn't be so brave as to do it to the Saudi Arabian flag, would they? Oh no, sorry, Bob. They'd lack the balls to do that. But they think they can get away with changing the England flag or the, the other the other one where they changed the uh, the United Kingdom, the Union flag uh, on the uh, the athletics and all that for the uh, for the, the forthcoming Olympics, things like that. It's all bollocks and they shouldn't allow it. It is an insult. And it's an insult for everyone who fought and died under those various flags. Uh, and I think it's just wrong. You wouldn't, like I say, you wouldn't you wouldn't change Saudi's flag because you wouldn't have the balls. So don't do it to ours and we shouldn't let it happen. Anyway, that's, an un that's a, another subject for another day. Uh, Miss Borden was among those unhappy at Nike changing the colours of the England flag on the back of the shirt ahead of this summer's European Championships. The sporting goods giant added purple and blue stripes to the Red Cross of St George, claiming it was a nod to the 1966 World, Coming uh, World Cup winning side. It wasn't because we didn't play in purple back then. It's a load of bollocks. Anyway, it sparked anger among fans with Miss Mordant, the MP for Portsmouth North, vowing to take their concerns to Nike after saying Rishi Sunak was damn right to say the flag should have been left as it was. And it was, I mean, it doesn't matter where you're from, your flag represents your history, your culture, your people. Why is some sporting brand being allowed to destroy, mock uh, and deface your flag? It's wrong and it should be avoided and everyone should stop buying Nike products. Um, anyway, Miss Brock tried to use the controversy to score points in Parliament at Thursday's business options, business questions, uh, but was told by Miss Mordant that preserving England's flag is not the worship of ashes, but the preservation of fire. An excellent response. She told MPs, I'm always keen to facilitate my constituents who wish to make complaints to all sorts of organisations in the ability to do that. But I would just say to Miss Brock, that our nation's flag is very important to the people of Portsmouth. And I would suggest that she might like to think twice before she mocks that view. These things and traditions are important 
and she's right they are imagine going up there and um let's say for example pick one at random let's say uh iron brew decided that they're going to make the scottish flag white but with a pink background because you know gay or whatever and say we want to fly the pink scottish flag at events people in scotland would be rightly angry upset and annoyed and quite right too you're mocking a nation's flag it is not right uh, Miss Morden also addressed a newspaper report in which Miss Brock claimed her adversary did not like Scottish people. Um, that's what Brocky said, uh, but it's not true. I don't believe that that's true at all. Uh, in an interview with a Scotsman, the Edinburgh North and Leith representative, Brocky, said most people in Scotland seem to know that she, Miss Morden, now for what she seems to be a dislike of Scotland and a dislike for the people of Scotland. No, no. Uh, that's not true at all. What it is, is Morden gets up there, Penny gets up there every Thursday, and Deirdre has a go at her every Thursday, and Penny just goes back. Penny doesn't talk about the people of Scotland in a derogatory way. She doesn't talk about Scotland in a derogatory way. She talks about the SNP in a derogatory way, and that's perfectly fine. There's many people I know who dislike the SNP. Disliking Hamza Youssef, disliking uh, Deirdre Brock, disliking pick another one any of them sturgeon disliking them as people is not disliking the people of scotland disliking the smp is not disliking scotland you are not insulting scotland by saying it's led by assholes you're just disliking the assholes that's leading scotland there's a difference one thing does not equal the other although in the smp's mind smp equals scotland but it does not uh, anyway, the Tory hit back, uh, Penny hit back, saying, Miss Brock has been too busy over the recess penning articles about how much I and my colleagues hate Scotland and Scottish people. She's done it again in her opening remarks and her questions to me. At some point, she will have to say why that is the case. I know that the Scottish rugby team has been doing very well against England, but this is not grounds, I think, to justify her accusations against me. Yes, and well done to the Scottish team. Yes, uh, handed England their arse, didn't they? And, uh, you know, it's funny, isn't it, how you ever watch a, a Labour MP will wear a tie. If he's a man, he'll wear a red tie to remind himself what party he's in. Deirdre always wears blue because otherwise she forgets what country she's representing. You know, uh, Joe Biden always wears a little United States flag, little stars and stripes. But in his case, he does need it. He doesn't remember his own name half the time. But there we go. See, Penny doesn't need to wear blue to remind her she's a Tory. She knows it. And don't we? Fine figure of a woman. Coming up. you got to give Deirdre Brock one thing, I suppose. She's a game old bird, isn't she? She knows before she stands up that she's going to lose. And yet every Thursday she gets up and has a little go. Uh, and always comes off worse. Every time. I think it's a game. And it's fine. It's fine. Penny always wins. Penny the Magnificent always wins. And yes, I do. I think she's marvellous. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this has been a bit lighter than the last one. Uh, do hit the like button. Do hit the subscribe button. Do hit the share button. And let me know what you think below. Till next time, stay safe, stay well. And I will speak to you later. Bye.